Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our back muscles. We are going to work on our traps, our lats, our mid back. So let's begin. We are going to start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side every day before the workout. Dynamic stretching is a must to make sure you unlock your body's mobility before you start any body parts workout. So if you don't prefer to do the greatest stretch, it's absolutely fine. You may choose to do any other dynamic stretches of your preference. There are thousands of those which are available in different variations. But this one happens to, you know, combine everything in one stretch and then makes our job easier to begin with. You may also add a couple of minutes of cardio to get your heartbeat up if you prefer to do so. Post completing my greatest stretch, I always sit in the deep squat for a few seconds at least to ensure my hip mobility, my inner thighs, stretching ability, my calf and uh, my calf muscles, they shouldn't be tight. I don't want them to be tight so that my ankle mobility remains good because when I do compound movements, my ankles move a lot. So I need them completely mobile. So for the first exercise, I'm going to start with the lat pullovers wherein I have done 4 sets of these 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between now the setup is pretty simple I have been doing this since long you just put up an incline bench in front of a cable crossover machine or a cable machine whichever is available at your disposal now if you do have a lat pullover machine in your gym lucky you please do use that I think the machine would be better configured to hit your lats properly but otherwise this is a perfect way to go ahead and perform this exercise the focus point is to make sure the release of the rope or the cable back to its starting point should be slow so when you're pushing down yes you're using your lats keep a slight bend in your elbow so that your triceps are not getting activated every time you push it down so let the elbow be slightly bent so your triceps are not in complete extension and from there take it forward when you're releasing it go as slow as possible to ensure the stretch in your lat is maximum for my next exercise as you can see i did an elaborate setup because in my gym there is no rowing machine seated rowing machine so i had to set it up in such a way that i get maximum lat stretch at the same time the contractions which i want so basically i used a step up uh, step up boxes to elevate my bench a little bit and then use another step up box to support my legs so that when the weight is pulling me forward i don't lose my balance so this is one way to set yourself up for an exercise if a particular equipment is not available pretty easy exercise make sure you keep your elbows bent bend absolutely forward all the way your head towards your knees keep your elbows bent tuck near your body and start rowing the weight never let your elbows go straight keep your elbows in a bent position i prefer it doing this way because this i feel a greater amount of stretch in my lat muscles when i do it this particular manner now you need to go all the way down and need to come up all the way back up and then push your elbows behind your body it's a very simple exercise don't take an extreme amount of weight and challenge yourself too much just take a nominal weight and do two sets of those with 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions. Now for my next exercise, I'm going to do bent over rows, basically a T-bar setup. Since there's no T-bar setup in my gym, there is a T-bar uh, rack holder basically. So I'm using that one. Now I prefer using smaller plates because that gives me more depth in terms of releasing the weight so my hands can completely stretch out. I can feel the lat stretching out. Now, if you don't have smaller weights, you can always use step up boxes or a couple of plates under your feet to elevate yourself so you get height and you can drop the weight as low as possible. In this exercise also, I have done three sets, 20 repetitions in a complete parallel bent over position. And then once I'm done, I stood up a little bit and started hitting my upper traps and mid traps by doing it as many repetitions as possible. Go slow go as slow as possible and feel the stretch and contractions post completing my bent over rows i moved on to heavy shrugs 
So in heavy shrugs, use straps or gloves so that you can go heavy. Your grip is not compromising your shrug. I'm doing the shrug on a barbell. You can also do this on a smith machine or with a couple of dumbbells. With barbell and smith, you can go as wide as possible. So prefer doing it once in a while, going as wide as possible and then doing the shrugs. Three sets of these, 10 repetitions in a slow controlled manner with 45 to 60 seconds break would be sufficient to hit your upper traps perfectly. Make sure you go as heavy as possible as you can be able to execute your 10 repetitions cleanly. So if you're not able to execute even 5 to 6 repetitions, that's too much weight. We want to fail around 10 to 12 repetition mark. And always remember, you want to touch your ears with your shoulders. So slightly keeping your chin tucked in would help you execute this particular exercise in a better manner. Make sure as you let the weight go down, you try to control it as much as possible, the eccentric part of the exercise. Post completing my shrugs, we move on to a little bit of core work. So that's it for today actually. It's a very short and precise workout for our back. So in the core work, I'm going to do crunches, three variations of these, shifting from one to the other without taking a break. Again, if you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Your feedback is very well appreciated. So if you do have any, please do drop a comment. Now, as you can see, I'm doing the first part of the crunches wherein I'm getting up completely using my spinal flexion and extension to press my crunch, my core as much as possible. While I crunch, I breathe out. When I go down back, I breathe in. So expand and contract accordingly once finishing about 20 repetitions i start doing half crunches for the top part the partial range of motion wherein i just sit up slantingly as you can see in the video and then start doing the crunches in this manner believe me you will start feeling a lot of tightness and soreness kicking into your abs because thanks to the first 20 repetitions after that I just lay down completely and do the lower part or the lower partial range of motion from my conscious. Now do three sets of these with 60 to 90 seconds break because sometimes you might feel a lot of pain in your abs. So take a longer break. That's absolutely fine. But try to get three sets of these at least. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you did like the video and enjoyed the workout. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.